Hello friends. So what we're going to do today is I think it would be a good idea to go over some Ruby methods uh, that are built into the Ruby library uh, but actually code them out. So I'm going to start doing a kind of series of tutorials about that. So let's go into IRB real quick. Let's say that we have an array and we'll just do it one, two, and three. It could, it could be anything but let's just say that it's three numbers. So I have this variable r, which is an array of three numbers. If we go r.cycle and then put an argument of, uh, let's just say, three in there, what it does is it gives us three duplicates of this array within an enumerator. Uh, so if you just go r.cycle, three dot class, see it's an enumerator. So in order to turn it into an array that we can actually uh, see, we'll just go uh, dot two a. So what you see is that you have one two three one two three one two three three times because that's the argument that we passed in. So that's what cycle does. So how does it do that? What's going on underneath the hood in Ruby? So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go here and we're going to build tests for this. So let's just go ahead and require our spec like always, and then we'll describe our um, method that we're going to build, and we'll just call it uh, cycle clone and let's go let's in that and then say that it should return an array with uh, duplicates duplicates of the collection passed in okay so what we want to do to set up our test is let's just make an R variable here. We'll, we'll actually just call it test. Uh, let's just call it R. R equals, and we'll put that same array in there, one, two, and three. And then we'll expect, and we call it cycle clone with the argument of R and three passed in dot two EQ. And then we'll just go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's what we expect back. So let's save this, and with uh, TDD, you always want to run it and make it fail. And it fails, it has a no method error of, of uh, cycle clone. Cool, that tells us exactly what to do. So let's build that method out. Def cycle clone. We're going to pass in a collection as an argument and a number of times that we want it to be duplicated, right? So here's the basic functionality of the cycle clone, the cycle method within Ruby. So what we want to do first is put a, let's just call it final r, and we're just going to set that to an equal equal to an empty array. So we have an empty array now, and then we'll go num that's passed in dot times do so that starts a loop of as many times you pass it in as how many times it's going to repeat. And then we want to take the collection that we pass in, dot each do. We want to take each element of that collection and put them in the variable x. Then what we want to do is simply take final array and shovel into it the x. Cool. And then down here we're going to p uh, final array. So right here, this final array is in the same execution context. This is the execution context that it's that it, it's globally that it's scoped to. So num dot times do basically we pass in a number. If we pass in three, it'll say three times do this block of code. And this block of code that's going to be repeated if we pass in three, three times will be take the collection dot each. So the collection that's passed in is just one. So we'll go take that collection, put it in the variable x, then push that collection onto the final array, empty array. Do it all of this three times. So our final array should have three sets of three, depending on what the num variable is, you pass in four, it'll be four, if you pass in 28, it'll be 28. Uh, it should have that many in the array, that many repeats in the array. So let's go down here and let's try to run this. So let's go cycle clone and we'll pass in a collection. We'll have to make another, this will be a global variable. We'll also call it R. Uh, this will, uh, it'll be on the global, it'll, it'll be on the global scope. So it won't affect this execution context right here. 
and it won't affect this because we have an R right here as well. So we'll go, it's uh, one, two, and three, and then we'll just pass that R in, and then our second thing is the num, we'll just say uh, five times, right? So let's run this, uh, Ruby nine point, oops, Ruby nine point. Cool, so it did it five times, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it seems to be working. So let's take this off right here, and then let's rerun our test. R spec, uh, what was that, nine point. Cool, finishes, one example, zero failures. Cool, so it's working. So that should be um, basically all that we're doing here. And it seems to work fine, so let's be happy with that. I hope it helped. Uh, I'll be doing more of these videos, so take it easy.